It's Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, y'all, welcome back to the lab. I'm Lee. Y'all saw that title too as well. That is right. We are doing some Halloween Mandela effects. We're going to have a couple new ones in this one and some nice other ones in here too for this Halloween Mandela effect. So thank you for staying tuned. Please remember that some of these Mandela effects might not be new to you, but they'll be new to somebody else. And if you like this at any time, please remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and leave me your wonderful comments down below. And if you're dressing up to looking good like I am in this zoot zoot, like I'm about to be a mobster, shout out to my bobster. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me know what you're dressing up down below. So let's go ahead and get this going. We're going to start off with actually Friday the 13th. Yes, and we're going to go in, I think it's the ninth series of it, Jason Goes to Hell. Yes, that is correct. Jason Goes to Hell. Well, we know that's the title of the movie. At least I remember that being the title of the movie because I used to watch movies when I lived overseas all the time. And Friday the 13th, Jason Goes to Hell was like the, supposed to be the, like the final chapter of it all. Well, it's crazy that I say the final chapter because now it is named Friday the 13th, Jason Goes to Hell, the final Friday. Now, I never remember it being called the final Friday. I don't know why it's called that because it never turned out to be the final Friday. We all know that. But it is weird that it is now called the final Friday. I never remember. It was just Jason Goes to Hell to me. Even when you look it up, you can look it up, Jason Goes to Hell, and that's exactly then like the little balls, like they just topped it in there. They just put freaking the final Friday. But how do you remember that? Has it always been like it has been for me? Jason Goes to Hell. Or are you like this in this reality? It's Jason Goes to Hell, the final Friday. Let me know down. <laughs> I'm glad you came back, Sally. We'll just sit here in this pumpkin patch and you'll see the great pumpkin with your own eyes. That is right. This one is such a classic. Oh, especially in my day and age. This time to sign home slide. I don't, ignore me, ignore me. But we're talking about peanuts and we're talking about Charlie Brown and the great pumpkin. And we're talking about where Linus is in the field and, well, does he see the great pumpkin? Does the great pumpkin appear? As you're thinking about that, look at this. It's the great pumpkin. He's rising up out of the pumpkin patch. Mm. What happened? Now, do you remember Snoopy Joe Cool popping out of the pumpkin patch and fooling Linus to be thinking that is the great pumpkin? Now, if you're like me, yes, I do remember Snoopy doing that. But as you watch this next clip toward actually literally at the end, is this how you remember it ending? Let me know. Now, I do remember his sister going out to the field because he was falling asleep out there waiting for the great pumpkin. But him going and walking him to the bed and putting him into the bed, it, 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 no, I, I, it, it just doesn't seem right to me. I remember them seeing the great pumpkin. I remember them actually seeing the great pumpkin. And for that not even to be there anymore because that was the whole skin of the whole premise is the great pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. Hey, we not seeing it anymore is really just sad, disturbing. Maybe just a fairy tale that was in our little minds of our imaginations of the time that it used to be. But how do you remember? How do you remember that? Do you remember Linus actually seeing the great pumpkin himself? Or has this always ended the way you just watched it as him going to bed? Cheer up! Who are you? I'm a good guy. I've just come from the Big Guy Clubhouse. And I'll be your friend now, this one, yes, has to do with my most favorite doll of all, the good guy doll, Chucky. Yes, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. And actually, I found this one as I was doing this video, as I was getting everything ready for this video. And the knife that Chucky holds, yes, and I'm talking about the first Child's Play too, by the way. The knife that Chucky has when he's doing all his stuff, was it clear or just plain silver? Or did it have some kind of graphic on it? Think about that for a moment as I play you this clip. Oh, 
It came alive in my hand. I, I, I... Oh, for God's sake. Why won't you believe me? Because I'm sane, Mrs. Barkley. Sane and rational. No one believes the truth. <laughs> or lives to tell it. There's nothing nice. Now, am I tripping? Have I really flipped in reality? Has my hat turned to a different way? Now, did you see the color of the blade? What that blade looked like? What that knife looked like? Did you see it? It's silver, but yet it's got that white and red trim. You see the bright and red trim. What is that crap? I'm sitting here, I'm like, Chucky never had that kind of knife. Never used that kind of, it was always one of those regular silver kitchen knives. That's just how it was. It was a regular blade, if you want to put it that way. But this having the red and white little stripe on the top of it destroys me, blows me away. And I don't know what to think about this because this is really trippy because I, there's no blades with reds on it going through Chucky. So what the bluff? How do you remember? Was that blade always the way that you just saw with that red and white trim around it? Or was it always just a regular silver stainless steel blade as it should be? I popped in there. I, I, I tried to think. Look! No! It can't be! What is it? It can't be! What did you do, Ray? Holy pus bucket. Yes, that is right. We're going to Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. And you already have a great idea of what I'm about to talk about right here. The name of the great, great sailor man that is full of marshmallow bliss to put on your s'mores, with your chocolates, and your graham crackers. And we're talking about Mr. Stay Puff, his marshmallow man himself. And yes, Stay Puff, Stay Puff. I don't understand this one still to this day. I've always remembered it being Stay Puff, like Puff, you know, P-U-F-F, -F, but yet it is P-U-F-T, Puffed, and I, it just seems so weird to me. I, you know, I can question this on and on a day. I put it on here because it does still boggle me, man. I, puff, Puff, and even as you're seeing it play through, you you even see it spelt right in the closed caption, Puff, well not Puff, but Puff, the way it is in this reality itself. I always remember it being Stay Puff with the two F's, never with the F and the T, but this one does get me to the T, I should say. How do you remember Stay Puff? Was it always spelt the way that you see it, the way you see it now, P-U-F-T? Or has it always been P-U-F-F -F like for me? Let me know. We've also talked about this one too as well. The good old man with the hands, that's right, invading your nightmares. And we're talking about Freddy Krueger himself, Nightmare in Elm Street. And we're actually going to go to his sweater, that is right, to the sweater. Some would say it's a Christmas sweater, that is right, a Christmas sweater is what kind of color, ladies and gentlemen? That is right, red and green. And unfortunately, that is exactly the color of his sweater and it has always been the red and green, as you see. But in many realities, just like mine, I always remember that sweater being red and black. Yes, that is right, red and black. I always remember that sweater being red and black just because it was just, it just, that was just thrown to my head. I think green would have really popped in my head. And I do know the color contrasts of the day of televisions, of divisions and regrades. I know, I know, I know. Maybe we're all fucking colorblind, who knows? But yet it has always been red and black to me. Now it's green because I live in this reality. But what do you remember? Do you remember that always being the Christmas sweater kind of color? Because that is now what they describe it as a Christmas sweater. Or are you like me and many of us Cooper fans? Red and black, red and black, red and black. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with the Chuck. <laughs> oh, we're going back to that wonderful good guy again. We're going back to Mr. Chucky himself. And we're going back to basically what I just said. Good guy. Good guy. Is that the name of the dolls? Is that the name of the dolls? Good guy. Good guy, right? Good guy. 
Well, if you would say, yes, Lee, he's a good guy. That's Chucky. Chucky's a good guy, dog. He's a good guy. He wants to be your friend to the end, right? Well, it's not good guy. It is good guys. Yes, good guys will be your friend to the end. That is right. Will be your friend to the end. Good guys. That is right. Guys, the S. You know the S has always come around on this Mandela Effect thing. And it is, once again, popped back up good guys. It is busting on mine because even the box that says good guys but Andy says good guy. Oh, you got me a good guy. And it, 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 it blows me away that we have that reverence but yet it's all guys. It's got the S on it now. Blows me away but how do you remember this? Was it always guys with an S like a spare guess but guys? Or was it just good guy like I remember it is like I am. Just a good swill. <laughs> ah, we're gonna go back to my man again, Freddy, for the last one of the day. And this one has to do with the blades. Yes, blades, blades, blades. And how many blades were on his hand of blades? That's right. How many blades was on his glove? Was it four? Was it five? Was it six, seven, eight? Yeah, there's too many fingers, I know, but how many blades was on there? Now, if you are saying, Lee, there was five blades on his hands, well, you are correct in a sense that you're wrong. Because in this reality, it has always been four. Yes, four blades on his hands, four blades on his hands, not five. Blows me away because I remember it always, him having that thumb blade too as well. And, you know, now that I think about it, you know, technically, be kind of messed up to have one. He probably cut a lot of shit off with that five fifth blades. But I do remember five blades. Five blades I do remember. Not the four, but it is now four in this reality. And it, it, it still boggles me. It still boggles me because I don't always remember five, but I guess the fifth one really went good unless you're poking somebody in the eye now. So I kind of contradict my own Mandela effect on that one, don't I? It's, you know, hey, it's Halloween. Shit happens. Maybe I'm being taken over by one myself, but I always remember five, but it is four in this reality. But what is your memory? What is your reality? Do you remember four? Do you remember five? You let me know down below. Now, we just got done with some of these few Halloween Mandela effects. I do know some of them was not new. I put the little new tag on it for the new ones. I hope you enjoyed it, man. I love the Mandela effect. I love this time of year because it is spooky and creepy. We can do a whole bunch of spooky Mandela effects, but I didn't want to sit here and just keep you appalled from getting your candy. You know, because everybody needs a little bit of candy on this day. Y'all remember, man, that Everything that you see in this world is just a fragment of your imagination. You have all the memories in your mind that you need. Nobody else's. Nobody can tell you that you're wrong in your memory because that is your memory. Even on this day where the veil is lifted so, 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 so. If you enjoyed this at any time, y'all, please remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and leave those comments down below so we can talk about these Mandela effects and other Mandela effects too as well. As well as, let me know if you're dressed enough for that. Let me know what kind of good kid you got at your house so I can come trick-or-treating. And remember to keep your mind open because those eyes will and are about to see everything. Y'all have a wonderful holiday.